I do believe a lot of INFJs are confusing fitting in with belonging. I know I did for the longest time. So that's why I really want to talk to you about this topic in detail. When I was growing up, I remember I was sitting at my window and I was looking outside and it was dark and, you know, there was nothing outside. But I, I remember this feeling of longing of, oh, there are people out there for me. And I really mean people. I really wanted a friend group. I wanted to belong. I wanted to feel like I'm going to be me. And for the longest time, I always looked everywhere. Everywhere I was going, I was looking for this. And, you know, I started going to college and I met new people and I was disappointed again. Then I went to another place and I was disappointed again. And so... You know, when you go through life like this, you really start feeling like, okay, you're never going to fit in. But that's the truth. Like fitting in isn't the thing that's going to make you happy. It's belonging. And it's a completely different approach. And till this day, I never ever go to a place and feel like, okay, I'm still looking for something. I'll tell you what I told my brother last week. Um, he asked me on this. Have I told you that I have a younger brother? Yeah, I have a younger brother. He's uh, 12 years younger than me. And this was a conversation that really stuck with me because he asked me, how do you feel in your social life? Because that's the first time I actually thought about this for the longest time. Because the facts are this. I'm living in a different city than all my you know, friends that I've known all my life. Um, my friends in itself are not many, right? I have like one friend that I talk a little bit more regularly with the others. We have like a WhatsApp chat. Um, and then I talk to my mother every day because I work with her and, uh, uh, you know, I, I call grandparents on the other side and all of that. But besides that, this is my social life. I don't talk to people outside of that. You know, my kids, my husband, like my immediate family, I really don't. Um, I, you know, I go and <laughs> bring my kids to, to the kindergarten and all of that. And I'm, you know, having conversations, but they're really on this level of how are you doing? Great. You know, that kind of thing. And so I really thought about it for a minute and I thought, oh, you're so right. Like, that's how it looks like from the outside that I have, you know, completely uh, alienated people around me, isolated myself. Like, that sounds like such a uh, you know, lonesome life. And I'm not even saying that, you know, you have to be alone just because you don't have a lot of contact with people. But I don't just not feel alone. I have never in my life felt such belonging how I feel now. Because first off, the fact that I don't connect with people like really in the real world and not through the internet or any kind of medium doesn't matter. I'm an energetic being anyway. We're all about intuition. We're all about feeling like that in itself is a very fluid kind of energy. I feel belonging like I've never felt before in my life. And I think of that little girl that was at that window, how much longing she had. And there was so much sadness in this. And I haven't really thought about it for a long time, but I know now it's possible. And for the longest time, I thought it's not possible. So I want to thank you. I want to thank everybody who makes me feel like I belong. And I'm here to tell you it's possible for all of us. It doesn't have to look like everybody's making it out to look like. And I really want to be, you know, a mirror to that. And hopefully I'll be able to open up a little bit more uh, to you. As you've seen, the last videos have been rather emotional for me and um, this is coming from a very positive place so I've just been able to open up a little bit more so don't think of it as something bad has happened in my life or anything like this I'm at a really really good place I'm just accessing uh, some emotions right now and uh, yeah this is a, a very very positive time for me so but the point is like back on um uh, on point so please excuse me you can't belong and it's not something that's going to happen by you going out and looking to fit in somewhere because you're not meant to fit in this is not the typical thing of oh you're not meant to fit in you're meant to stand out yeah in some situations it's good to stand out and we all want that like that's part of every human to some point but there's also this 
want for belonging and it's a human need and it's something we all deserve and I want to give you access to this as much as possible. So the first thing is to ask yourself in what situations um, am I fitting in and not belonging meaning I'm giving up on who I am I try to blend. For me it meant in situations for example let's say back in college or at work I pretended to be weaker than I am. I always felt like if I show up and I'm just like unapologetically me it will make people back off. It will be like, who does she think she is? I would take up space. I would, you know, take a little bit more responsibility in how we make the group happen. Because, you know, I showed up at those college meetings, for example, and I thought, that's so boring. And then I left. I didn't even give myself the opportunity to really get to know and appreciate these people because the first thing that's like, you know, been like a shadow over everything is the fact that I don't belong here. It doesn't feel like home. But the only way you can feel like home is if you hold on to that core we talked about in the last video. And then you create that belonging. So a quick thing I always like to say, imagine you have a group of six people. If you enter and you make a judgment on like, okay, this is not my tribe, you know, because you read people and all of that you're still kind of like adding yourself to those six people and you think the energy of this group are those six people. But the moment you enter, it's seven people. And you can put all that you are into this. And yes, people might not like it. Yes, people might walk away. But through that, you will find your group. And yes, that's why I said like, I'm not going and being this bold version everywhere that I go and I connect with people because I already have enough inside to know this is not the place but you can create that place, right? So the first step, let's not really make it too complicated. First, recognize in what areas are you compromising who you are in order to fit in, in the hope that it will get you connection, right? Recognize it. We're not doing this anymore. The second thing is to build your tribe. And that doesn't mean that you have to be the one who initiates all of it. You can join areas where you know you're appreciated more for who you are. Thankfully, nowadays, there's so much opportunity to be ourselves. It's not the same way it was 10 years ago. It's way more accepted and it's encouraged. And we all know we're going into an evolution where all of this is going to be more and more accepted and appreciated. So share who you are, share it with, you know, a community, share it in a safe space like YouTube, for example, um, in forums, you know, like hopefully in my comment section, this is a very safe space. Um, you know, bootcamp has already started. So that's like maybe something for next time. But generally speaking, like really aim to say I'm going to be me. And only then I have the opportunity to create real belonging. And the third thing I want to encourage you to do is to be vulnerable. Like you don't have to be as vulnerable as I've been in the last videos because this is um, something that's been building up for a long time. And I'm thankful that I can, you know, access those parts of me now. But I've aim to be vulnerable throughout that process. That being said, what I'm not saying here is, you know, tell people, oh, I've been sad and all of that. What I'm saying is tell people I'm strong here. I know I can do this. Like I'm confident in this. This is also vulnerability because through saying things like this, through really embracing your strengths, you're also being vulnerable because this is something that is hard to accept harder than if you're weak. Right. So vulnerable is being as authentic as you possibly can, because through that you're saying like, you know, let people find out as soon as possible if this is for them or not, and that I need my alone time and that I need space and all of that. And only through that um, I can actually find the people who belong in my life. So, yeah, it will change your life. It has changed my life. And I don't think I, I told that story to the end um, that my brother, uh, you know, approached me with. And the point is, I never really thought about how it looked on the outside. But yeah, it looks so much different than what it actually is. He was surprised, but he was also very happy for me that I'm living such a um, fulfilled life. And that it's not in a way how, you know, society expects you to be happy. But it's exactly what I need, what I needed, and what I will need for the rest of my days uh, in this body on this earth. And so if you have this feeling of, belonging is something that I know my soul wants and needs, you can have it all. It's just not going to happen through fitting in. And hopefully through this platform and just the entire more spiritually inclined world, let's say it, you have more space to be yourself and it doesn't have to be a spiritual way, right? It's just more like leaning into who you are 
finding your tribe around it, embracing your uniqueness, and loving every second of it. I love you all. Thank you for listening. Thank you for allowing my thoughts to enter your world. And um, I look forward to seeing you again. And uh, thank you for belonging.